So I thought I'd introduce the cello today. The cello, which used to be a popular instrument, is becoming popular again, along with all the other strings, the violin, the viola, and the bass, violin, cello. And um, so this is a cello. Borrowed this from a friend, because I wanted to learn something new over this uh, time we have here in isolation. And it's a, it's a fun instrument to play. It's got four strings. It's got a C string. And a G. And an A. And then that's the A. This is the D. And so, you play it just like you do a violin, by pressing the strings down in different places, with different strings and different fingers. And you get not very good, but I'm trying. The bow, this is the bow, and you just held it, hold it kind of like this, with your thumb there next to the uh, dot, and this is called the frog here, and you hold the bow like this. And you draw it across the string, straight across like that. So your wrist turns and it stays straight. It doesn't travel up and down the string like this. It stays pretty true. And then you just draw the bow across the string. playing the cello. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. So you can pick one up now on the internet for about 200 bucks. This is just a cheap cello. Um, and you can play around with it and you can make music. Lots of people hold them different ways. This is a proper way to hold a cello. Now if you're in a rock band you might see somebody holding it a little different. That's okay too. Um, you can pluck the strings. Sounds like a bass, not quite. So if you get a chance to try a cello, or maybe I can loan you this one sometime and give you a chance to see if you can play it or not. It's a really cool instrument and I've gotten hours of enjoyment out of it. So this is the cello. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.